Hello and welcome back to Lucas Oil Raceway, IRP Indianapolis Raceway Park, as some may call it. I think they call it Lucas Oil Raceway at Indianapolis Raceway Park or something like that. Something where I have to take a, a big deep breath after saying it. But we're in the uh, C Open series today. Some trucks. And, uh, seems to drive. Not too dissimilar. From the Xfinity cars in terms of breaking points and uh, you know, the line you kind of want to take up high with a little bit of a cut down on the uh, second half of the corner. So pretty familiar feeling. Hopefully it'll be a good race. These uh, truck races can be a little iffy sometimes, but I'm hoping we can have a good one here. Oh, I got loose, dang it. That was looking good for a second, too. I'll try to get a better, uh, try to get another run. Hopefully not mess up the second lap. One more lap. lap for Young, 22.0. P6, that puts you 0.3 off the leader's pace. That lap time was 22.3. Alright, that was good. All-time best. Had my tape up to 100%, so theoretically I should be doing better, but apparently not that great of a lap. <laughs> good enough. I mean, we're the sixth car, so as of uh, right now being sixth and maybe falling, that's okay. 22 second lap. Alright. I'll hop out right now while I'm thinking about setting my tape back to where it belongs. Which on this setup, our OSR setup, started at 70, and I'm going to trust them on that one. Apply, make sure this is the one that is saved in here in this state. It was 12 to 1, and I kind of like it like that, 12 to 1 steering ratio. And then I got my brake bias back to 54. That seems to be fine with me. Seems to get the rotation. Maybe I could put it a little lower, but seems fine. All right, so seems like a decent enough few time. High line dominant here. So if we start on the outside, not so bad. And if we start on the inside, well, we'll get a, a little bit better of a jump, maybe. So pros and cons to both, uh, inside and outside. Not as big of a deal as most other tracks, it seems like. Uh, especially short tracks. Short tracks usually you want to be on the bottom, but not so here. It looks like um, it did split. We only had like 30-something people signed up. So it only split once, I think, but it did split. So even though we got a rookie guy in here, they're apparently pretty good. They must be a fast riser. Because uh, they're ahead of some guys that started the season in uh, Division 2 II and 3 and stuff. So we're just waiting on one guy. They put in at least one lap, so I guess they're going. That's the end of the season. All right, we're ready to go. Everyone work together. Good stuff. Make sure uh, this is all set up so I can hear. I don't see uh, I don't see any names I'm scared of or anything, which is good. Like the guy that wrecked me in the last race with his or the last uh, C Open race at New Hampshire with his uh, fancy setup that spins on the first lap. Don't see that guy around. So that's nice. We'll get session last lap ready so we can try to hit consistent laps rather than qualifying laps. We've got Derek Justice in the number one, who is, uh, he's a, I don't know, is he a Pro Series driver or a Coke Series driver? He's up there. He's one of those guys that are way up there. Either way, he's probably going to kick our butts. I don't know. I don't know about like the three and the wherever the number two is. Do not. Oh, I'm looking at the relatives, so they probably just didn't jump in yet. But uh, I mean, they might have something for them, but I don't think I will, unless there's uh, people crashing out. And I'm hoping we don't see much of that. I'm hoping uh, it's a pretty clean race. Had a a few too many 
cautions for my taste in the Xfinity race I did. But at the same time, it was fun racing, and that one was a single split, if I remember correctly. So maybe we can cut down on it here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, got my uh, tape fixed. Don't have to worry about that. But, uh, we're about two tenths off. Three. That's about how Eight. off we were in the uh, open line. practice ahead of time. Right. Uh, the open lobby practice. So that's about where I can expect to be. About two tenths Hold off of the guys down. when they're on there. In the Full at their full speed. We'll take the access road thing. Those guys will go on the outside there. We'll just try to be. Uh, we'll try to be good. I had some stupid mistakes in the last uh, <laughs> C Open race too. So try to behave ourselves this time. Maybe get a good finish. If these, uh, if these truck races end up being more trouble than they're worth, with guys that'll just plow through you too often, then uh, I'm perfectly fine just casting it off the schedule of running other things, because there's a million things I like running and I'm perfectly happy with running as I'm sure you might have seen already by just my uploads <laughs> from all four disciplines it's at different points less so on the dirt side typically but still all four you'll see on occasion today it's some mobile racing though the trucks are ready to go Locked him right before I could <laughs> hit the gas pedal. Couldn't see it, just the wrong moment. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. Outside is clear. At the outside back. Car inside. They're coming on our inside. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Keep high. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. They're fighting hard on our inside. Okay, the Give him room, the room he needs. And pretty loose on the exit, that's a little scary. Finally seems to give up. Or maybe not. I don't know. Just let me live, man. It's so early to be fighting that hard. Let me live my life. The you know, window opens on lap four, everybody. Good to know. See uh, chrome in my rear view mirror, that scares me a little bit. There's the, uh, <laughs> the chrome uh, stereotype of drivers being a bit uh, messy. Hopefully, that doesn't. You know, hopefully, you don't see too much of the chrome in our rear view mirror as they come plow us. Like was a 22.5. Kind of reminds me of uh, New Hampshire a little bit on the exit of the corner. At least with this setup and everything I got running here, where you got to be careful on the throttle as you're going. Not a huge amount of banking, so you, uh, you can't just smash it. Got to be uh, gentle. Sorry, got me. Crashing potentially. Inside. Bye bye if they're faster. Still there, hold your line. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Go. Inside. Clear. 
clear. The car inside. Still there. Is it racing hard? That's for sure, right off the start. Still there, inside. Maybe I'm not racing hard enough. D9. Clear. I'm just being gentle with it though. I mean, we've got 110 laps. Don't see uh, the need to be in too much of a rush. I think the uh, being gentle with the throttle on the exit will pay off. It means that uh, I'm not going to get as loose on the exits later on in a run, maybe. A little bit sideways there. Entry. Car inside. Guy drives up hard next to us. Stay high. Clear. We're falling back. I'm not too concerned. Not thinking I have very much speed here. Uh, I didn't mention it before, but I <laughs> I believed that before heading in here, seeing what we're seeing now. E10. Just hoping being smart and keeping the truck uh, dent free pay off for us. And uh, we're not terrible. I think. Uh, Top 10 is a good goal to set, and uh, potentially achievable, so we'll go for that. And uh, by the way, green all the way so far, that's awesome. Sounded like we almost had a caution, but did not come to pass. Try to keep that green up there on that delta bar. Your last lap time was at 22.7. And uh, trying to use the throttle to get this thing turning rather than yanking the wheel hard. And uh, making sure I'm slowing down for the corner properly as well. All seems good to me. Fun track to drive, so I don't really even care if I'm falling backward. As long as I'm getting the chance to run the track, it's, it's a good time. Gonna have to be nicer to my hands, though. It's not gripping the wheel so hard. So we got a long way to go. Need to uh, actually be able to move my hands after I'm done with this. Got some lag on the top right. Interesting. That does not continue. Don't want that to be an issue. Keep an eye on that. You've just it's kind of just barely in the problem range. We're barely turning yellow. But as long as the Q bar is generally pretty good as well, I think uh, I'm not too concerned. Of course, you don't want the L bar to get any larger than that either. I'll just keep an eye on it as much as I can without <laughs> getting my eye off the road either. Not too much. Down a little bit more there. Not sure how that's going to work out. Probably going to kill my axe. That's what it's going to do. It's a little unintentional. That didn't seem to make too much of a difference. I'm hitting the line I intend to run. That's all I can really do. Well, it's close to the wall there. Hey, he keeps it off though. That lap time was 22.8. Got a uh, lap car right there. Lap truck, rather. Car Getting on the low side, that's good. Clear it's great when the, uh, when the lap trucks understand that you don't always want to let people pass on the outside. Sometimes you want to let them pass. 
or you know pass on the inside rather sometimes you want to let them pass on the outside like at a track like this where the outside is the preferred line so that's good the lap time was at 23.1 a little bit loose, it's fine, we'll fight through it a little bit. <clears throat> we got some space behind us uh, for the next position. That's good. I don't, I don't feel like we're falling off anymore. I don't think we ever were. I think I was just under driving it. I just don't have the skill to keep up. But the truck feels fine. Be gentle with it. That was a twenty-two point nine. Ooh, a little bit of wall there on entry for the twelve. Not much to affect them all uh, too much, though. Lap time was at 23.0. Looks like it kind of got him out of his rhythm, though. Still very uh, even on pace with the guy. I got too early there. Pretty difficult to get the line just right. Ooh, maybe overdrove that a little bit. Okay, Colton. Fine that though. Pretty consistent. Might have to try to pass this 12 soon. It's overdriving the entry, I think, seeing me coming. Oh, cancer. Oh, why am I holding the steering wheel so tight? That last lap was at 23.2. One point one behind us. I think they are gaining just uh, slightly, very slowly. This is pretty rough racing. I don't know how difficult it looks, but it is pretty difficult to hit the line I'm trying to run. Maybe it's not difficult for guys that have more experience at the track, because I have only been here a couple of times. So, oh, 12 really missed the mark there. Yeah, I got all out of sorts because I couldn't see. I was so close to him. This is an endurance race. Absolutely. You Wait, it's hurt my hands. What do you want me, Jesse? Just run your line, brother. I'll figure out how fast it is. wonder if we'll get lapped. I bet we will. Fast guys are uh, fast enough, and this track is short enough. I bet we'll get lapped at some point. Can't really feel too much shame in that, knowing uh, how fast they are. and You know, it's a shorter track. Lap traffic will happen. That's how it works. Part of the racing. 12 missed his line bad. racing very well. Seems like we got a good group here.
green flag right now. I've seen very many mistakes out of people. The ones I've seen were pretty minor. That lap was a 23 Good stuff. Zero. Good consistency. Keep them coming. They're so equal on pace with this 12. I'm just like right up on him, but like I'm going as fast as I can. We're just like the same speed. I wonder if he's on the same setup. That'd be pretty funny to find out. He was also using OSR. Oh no, that was a loose moment. That was really loose. Just couldn't catch the slide. I gotta take it careful for a second because that probably heated up the rears. I felt like that came out of nowhere. I got it on it a little hard, but it's pretty killer. Make a habit out of that. That's what I'm saying, though. I'm not seeing many people making mistakes like that, getting loose to that degree. We got some uh, very consistent, was, uh, talented drivers in here, it seems. Mine's coming up on me now. Thank you. I wonder if we'll get green all the way. That'd be great. Not much to talk about right now. Just uh, eating laps. Trying to be consistent. Try to avoid doing the slidey slides I did earlier. Earlier on. Guy 0.5 behind is kind of maintaining his distance now. Maybe gaining just a tiny bit. 12 seems like they're running away now. I still feel like it's pretty much all me. I'm the only one to blame for uh, any time lost. Like, right there, I just got loose again. And, uh, my hand fatigue is honestly, I feel, kind of hurting me. Doing a lot of racing lately. Plus, my job involves using my hands and squeezing, like, a lever type thing. And so I do that all the time at work, and then I come home and rip my steering wheel after Ripping my real life steering wheel. Not that I grip my real life steering wheel very hard, but you know. My hands. Use them all day. Driving and working. So they're like yelling at me. Give it a give it a rest. But no, I got racing to do. I see that uh leaders on the on the way. We'll have to get low on the track for him when he comes by. That lap time was 23.2. Gosh, it's getting real loose. Mid-late corner. Ooh, 12's up in the wall. I'm just having trouble wrangling this thing in. What are you getting? I guess I'll pit when the leader pits. I'm not gonna try to overthink it, I don't like. Just gonna go about halfway probably.
guy leave. Interesting. Be silent group overall. Not much to talk about, I guess. Everyone's just focusing on hitting their laps. Reaching a lap car here. Time was 23.2. Car's not getting out of the way though. All right, so we're going to catch the 12. Car outside. Go low. Outside is clear. A little frustrating, they wouldn't just take the bottom, but I guess we made it. You've just done a 23.4. That's really fighting the wheel. Middle to late corner, just keep trying to keep this thing straight. The guy behind, I think, got past the uh, lap car a lot easier than we did. So now they're here, basically. Breathing down our neck. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, I think the 12 almost got on the wall and it made them uh, back off a little bit. And a half back to the leader. the wheel off my desk as a usual. It seems like it gets more loose on the exit of two than it does on four. That's something I'm noticing. I'm not going to push my luck though and start trying to floor it at turn four either because it's not going to do me any good either. Overdrove it in the wall. Inside. Clear. Good Ooh. consistency. Keep them coming. Well, I lost a spot there. The gap in front is We're next up for the leader. I mean, that's that was just a mistake. I mean, <laughs> not much else going on there, except I drove in a little bit hard. It's tough to do uh, 110 perfect laps. That's for sure. That's why I'm like very impressed by the competition here. You know, everyone's racing so well. I'm not being able to keep up, for the most part. Might just pit before the leader gets to us since we're about halfway. So that way I don't have to deal with that. Sure what's going on here? Oh my god. I think someone right in front of the leader. That car wouldn't get out of the way. B11, the lap time was at 23.8. Yeah, get out of the way. Car outside, clear high. Okay, Colton, we're in the lucky dog position. Let's see if we can keep it. That was a little bit of a uh, blunt way to do it, but I think I made it pretty clear. I was heading down there and just gonna let him by right away. I'm sure, he's not gonna want to have to wait behind these guys side by side, but maybe I could follow him through somehow, even. Why are you all the way down here? No reason for you to be all the way off the wall like this. Car outside. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. We're fine. These guys are all. These guys are super slow. All of a sudden, though. That's done. Oh, got sideways on entry there. That was pretty scary. Had to fight that off. Number 12 just fell off a cliff You're with his tires or something. He might be looking to pit soon. It says we have plenty of fuel. Are we even pitting at all? Hold on a second. Why do we have plenty of fuel? <laughs> We're not pitting at all. I'm talking about pits this whole race. We're good on fuel. I guess this is an open race where you don't have to pit. It goes green. I'll butter my biscuits. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, forget all that talk. We're going green to the end, maybe. Obviously got to uh, get tires if get the caution. But other than that situation, we're just gonna stay out here. Huh. What if anybody doesn't know that? Like I didn't until I checked. I'm sure these guys everybody here knows to check first, but Well, now I'm extra happy I am uh, haven't been driving the wheels off of it. Just being gentle as much as I can. So we're going to need these things all the way, apparently. A 12's uh, in a bad situation if his tires really did fall off that bad. Boy, I'm pitting here. Say hi. Oh, yep, there it is. He's pitting. Oh. Might not know. Maybe he just uh, feels like he has no choice. Alan, behind his pitting. Wheels falling off the desk. That last lap was a 23.3. I tried tightening up after my last race too. I'm sure people are tired to hear me talk about it, but sorry, man. I was just gonna go your way. I tried tightening it up, and it's still coming off. Oh, good. I can prevent it from falling off completely, I guess we're fine. It certainly slows me down though, and I have to uh, focus on putting the wheel back on on the straightaways instead of thinking about my entry to the next corner. Okay. I watch behind us for second place. If they come reach us. Uh, there's anything to this. Running a little bit lower. Maybe. Compare. to say. That just depends on how consistent I'm able to actually make the corner. Mm, got on the flat part a bit too much there. You've just done a 23.3. 
Not too high in the corner here. Still get the run off. Hands are barking at me. <laughs> that was a 23.3. A little bit of that. I mean, that's green. It's barely. It's just about the same. A little bit too much. We're not gonna. Do anything too crazy, I don't think. That's probably bad on the tires anyway. Is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. More of this lap truck that won't get out of the way. Won't get off the high line. Oh, whoa. Okay, I had to save it a little bit there. And now he's taking the low line, I guess. Inside. Clear inside. I don't know. I guess, it, I guess it is kind of hard to judge when you take the low line. Sometimes like people catch up on you a little bit sooner than you expect. I really wish my wheel would stop coming off the desk. All I want for Christmas is for the wheel to not come off the desk. That was a 23.5. When I said I want to drive the wheels off of it, I did not mean the steering wheel. I'm sorry about that. I know you will be at close to me. Wow, she apologized to him, but she didn't apologize to me. A little smoother. That's probably where I could actually be a little better, is if I just uh, kept it a little smoother. Quite time to let him buy yet, but it's getting close. The gap ahead is now 2.1. Dude, this is a fun race. Not much going on, but that's kind of a good thing sometimes. It means you don't have the people crashing all over the place. You've just done a 23.3. Hmm, that time we got tight on exit. That was a big deal. So now we got fresh tires behind us. God, this wheel is so annoying. Go high. Clear. The gap in front is it's now starting to get worse, I feel like. Okay, this guy's here. I didn't realize it. Gonna move low, but now he's expecting me to be high, so. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Stay high, put the car on the low side. Clear. 
Clear inside. The time was 23.7. I wanted to get out of his way, but then he started doing that dive low thing, and I didn't want to move in front of him by accident. Was that 23.3? I'll mirror what he's doing a little bit. Maybe I could find some speed. It's pretty good. He's like sliding through the corner. Wow. He's certainly giving it his all. Not sure if that was very good, that particular corner, but he's racing hard, I guess. Looks like we got a big group of trucks ahead of us. You've just done a 23.3. Imagine probably a mix of lap trucks and trucks on my lap, trucks on the lead lap, or at least the one in front of us for sure. And look how sideways he's going through the corner. He's basically doing a dirt slider line on entry. That's pretty crazy. Have it going in one or two, just ahead is now 1.5 seconds. I still haven't really felt loose out of turn four, it's strange. So I definitely have felt loose out of turn two. Inside, hey, okay, that lap truck was in a bad spot for me, that made me nervous. Oh my god. Yeah, this wad ahead of us is really throwing me off. Making me nervous here. Mm. Why are you taking the middle line now? Oh, what a mess. Keep low. That lap was a 23.7. Go low. Clear high. We're really having to fight our way through. It's like trying to wade through swampy water, muddy water. With big, long boots on and having to wade through it. it slows you down and it's all... Gross and awkward. It's kind of how it feels to go through left traffic. And dangerous, potentially. Outside. Outside, clear. I'm actually sweating doing this race. Good here, James. My bad, man. So much focus. I really hope this goes green all the way. I really don't want to do like a, an awful late restart or something. I'll take my top 10 happily. Don't do that in front of me though. Whew. Might be catching this 9.
I feel like I've been able to learn the track a little bit. Kind of uh, emulated the speed, entry speed and such of the uh, number seven there. Just in second. Trying not to emulate the sideways. But uh, maybe he's onto something because he is in second after all. I am in tenth. Should be getting sideways. <laughs> it's the fast line. Oh my god, my wheel! I swear there's gonna be a chunk out of my desk after I'm done with this race. I really just gotta like take it all the way off and oh. put it back on again, redo the whole thing. Because if I if I put put it off too long, I think this thing's just gonna straight up pop off the desk one of these times. Great job, here to go. Okay, Colton, lap time's pretty consistent. Got a car on the wall up there, it's a lap car. Jeez, he's just straight up right in the wall. I almost rode the wall there, I kinda went in. Yeah. Deep. That lap was at 23.3. Outside. Getting sideways in front of me. Still there. Keep He's blocking. not backing off whatsoever. Step ahead is now 1.4 seconds. Keep low. Oh my god, what are you fighting for? Clear high. I don't know about y'all, but my arm is starting to itch. Caution. That way. I don't know, it's gonna green. I would've, I would've qualified. Alright, the Jinx committee's out. Talking about how, uh, oh, it's all green. The gap in front is now 1.3 seconds. We will be doing one less than 110 laps because of our uh, up down yeah, situation. Five. Five to go. Don't think we're going to be able to catch this nine. We might be slowly catching, maybe, but it's uh, certainly not enough unless he makes a mistake. Ooh, that a little high. Fine, though. You've got two laps to go. The gap to Mills behind is now 17 seconds. Two to go. And my hands, flag. they're White burning. Flag. White flag, so that means there will not be a caution in this race. Cleanest truck race there ever was. Wow, I don't give this, line. uh... Oh, what's this? Lead lap or no? Lead lap, but he's going again. Good race, everybody. I don't know what happened there. Lead lap, but he got it going. Nick, you're an idiot. Flow card download. I don't know what's happening past the line. <laughs> I lost control coming out of Ford right after it's flat job. Okay, we're done. There's the flag. It's I would have done that if we weren't coming to the checkout. That was the cleanest truck race of all time yeah, until it deal. wasn't on the white flag, but we were out of it at least. We got out of the mess. All right. I'm just My driving a bit. said we'll get him next time. No, we won't. Y'all are just too fast for me. Woo! Good race, good win. I'll just do, it, do that in the chat there. Alright.
take a second to unmummify myself. Oh, wow, that was quite the experience. So we got our top ten. That's cool. I'm uh, that's what I wanted. I just wanted the top ten. Perfectly fine with that. I think I did about the best I could. Um, in terms of my current skill level, anyway. I mean, I feel like I did everything I could. Fifty-three seventy-two. Probably didn't do well with the tires, but, I mean, that's 110, 109 laps. So, hard to say um, what others maybe had their uh, tires at, but it doesn't look like anyone's interested. They're all even, so. 16! Thank Andrew. How? Appreciate the 4X on the last lap. Sounds like he was making a habit out of doing that. Dang. Well, we just had a couple of people that were causing problems, I guess. Because most part, everybody had all zero X's, and then we just had, you know, a handful of fours, and a couple people that were probably giving them out, <laughs> if I had to guess. Interesting. Well, I guess let's go take a look at it and see what happened. We have the technology. We can find out. Step two. I don't see much of anything going on here. Drives in a little too hard. Ooh, nine avoids him. Thankfully. Got pretty close. He's the chrome guy that was scaring me. He was fine though. Just barely uh, taps the wall. Some more wall. I'm glad we avoided doing that at all. Ooh. Interesting. And that didn't cause a caution, huh? Doesn't look like it. You know, good for him. Not just parking on the track. <laughs> Happens way too often where a guy spins and they're just like, I'm going to park it on the track until I get my caution. And, uh, he got it back rolling. Did not, uh cheat the system so and good for him I appreciate his uh, honesty in that regard these guys are battling pretty hard looks like they get in the wall a couple times empty just gasses it up and hits him after he slides in front of him hurt uh, 17 more than hurt the other guy though it looks like all his momentum or very loose I wonder if that was the start of his problems. Maybe uh, that's how he got all his 4x, it's just ran into the wall a bunch of times. We'll see, I guess. Big uh, pile of trucks here. That was major net code, wow. That guy wasn't even close to him and it dented in his left rear, but it looks like it fixed itself, maybe? Sure. You know, at some point I did stop looking at my L, my latency, up there. I hope it wasn't uh, real bad at any point. I didn't hear any complaints. So. Some wall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go a bit faster. And uh, just look when guys are near each other, because if we look at 110 laps of wall hits, we're gonna be here all week. I do think the four gave himself all those uh, X's by running into the wall a lot of the time, though, it looks like. Looks like sometimes he just dives it in real hard. So, skip on through. What did I do? I hit the wall. Oh yeah, I remember that. I did scrape the wall just a tiny bit. That's when I was right up behind him and I kind of lost track of where I was. No harm, though. Didn't really do much of anything. See, even the uh, fast guys are doing it. Everybody. Everybody's doing it. Apparently it's really easy to do. Really, really easy to do. Huh. Weird. Moving on through. 
guy behind gonna come up and hit him? No, it doesn't look like it. Side by side, what we got? 16 cutting down a little bit too much, looks like. And our way through, I haven't seen this guy at all yet. He actually left the race early, so I'm wondering if something bad did happen to him, though, at some point. Now what am I doing? Wall? Yeah, I remember that. I just entered too hard and, uh, with a bad angle. Yeah, and then I lost that spot. That's a shame. We ended up finishing ahead of us, but uh, we did come up and pass the 12 eventually, so we ended up with our top 10 still. hit the wall pretty good there. That might have even caused uh, steering damage or something. That was a hard enough hit. I'm, starting, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why uh, he left early. That could have been a reason why. Ooh, 12 sends it up way too hard, but that was bad net code to make it do that. That should not have happened that way. Or adding to his total, he just straight up drove up into the 19 there. 19's giving him all the room he can. He, I mean, he probably should be on the bottom side, but still. It's, it might just be me, but it seems like the prediction code at this track is pretty dramatic. I don't know if it's because, you know, like the angles are sharper or whatever. It really seems like, uh... Prediction code makes things worse here a lot of times. It could just be uh, anecdotal evidence. Here's the 12 being way too off the wall. You can see he's like generally these these are kind of like your general guidelines for the lanes. He's too far down. It was net code anyway. We didn't actually even hit him. Had some good battles. A lot of alone time, but we had some good side-by-side uh, -side racing as well, on occasion. Watching these guys, looks like that was just the wall hit though. Hit himself. Nothing. A lot of nothing. He got the wall pretty good, it looks like, maybe. Look, we didn't see the 8 at all. Early in the race. We saw, we saw him a couple times in a row there. 18 was pretty slow. Or the 15. We passed him a bunch of times, and he was pretty slow and keeping the top line, which is a bad combination. We're lucky he didn't end up in a wreck and causing a caution. You're trying to get by. Five's pinching him so much. Are they on the same lap? No. 16 looks like he's battling him, though. I think I remember the 16 battling me, too. I just back off. Come on. <laughs> there, he made himself back off by hitting the wall. And then... Oh, my, oh my gosh. Major problems there. So he's in the wall. That was just a big mess. 16's too low. 14, or the four's diving a little hard. Guys in the wall. It just got kind of messy there. Nothing there. We're making our way through the race, we're almost there, through the incidents. 
What happened to the leader here? Leader get a bit of a wall? Pretty, pretty uh, solid tap. But just a tap, no more than that. 17 puts it in it pretty good. And yeah, this big group we were stuck in for a while. Guys all on different laps trying to pass each other at different speeds. Got kind of uh, suspect. You know, a bunch of guys in all different laps. Something too hard. Haven't seen the three really all race. We're having a clean one. Sends it into the back of the 14, but uh, is there fine? Other than getting to the wall. Man, more more prediction code. I mean, four is giving, four is driving really close, but that should be mo no more than a tap. There's really no reason that should have ended up looking like that. And I mean, I guess you know, there's no reason for the well, yeah, there's no reason for the four to be driving the pants off of it, really, either. I mean, I guess he's trying to catch this guy. That did not work out. Man, I really didn't come and pass this guy after he did all that. I guess that was pretty slow, huh? Almost got there. The guy's getting in the wall. Well, that was the end of it here. Not sure what's going on up there. We'll take a look at that in a second. I wasn't sure what was going on, so I was hitting the brakes at the start-finish line. So I was like, I don't know what I'm about to see whenever this uh, guy gets out of my way. Okay. Was this for position or no? Let's see, 12th, 11th. So this was for position. Let's see how this final quarter went. So 12th is desperately trying to uh, catch up to the guy because 11th place is very very important I guess Joe tries to go on the outside blue truck kind of gets up there in front of him and bounces off the wall that's how that all happened so uh, did anyone else get uh, get into him Ooh, that's a hard hit the driver's side door Looks fine. Is he getting revenge? Looks like he might be chasing him down. Nah. I mean, I don't know what you would get revenge for, but you don't know what's going on in the minds of these people sometimes. <laughs> How they blame others. But uh, for me, top 10, that's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, this counts as a, sh a short track, so I don't expect too much. Um, from that, plus it's one I have very little experience on, just that B Open race and a Silver Crown race, like, several seasons ago, so, haven't seen this track too much, and I feel like I learned a little bit throughout the race, got ourselves the top 10, and a 0x, wasn't it? Yeah, 0x, so, I can be happy with that. Hope you enjoyed watching, a green flag race, that's pretty cool. Especially in the trucks. Started out a little bit concerned, but uh, hey, I had nothing to be worried about. Clean race. And uh, it all played out pretty well. No pit stops. Had plenty of fuel, I guess. So uh, that'll be that for this one. Thanks for watching.